America needs a revival like it never has before. And it's either going to be a revival or a revolution. Someone was trying to tell me the other day, they said, you know what, Danny Davis, we're going to have a civil war in America. That's what they were saying. He said, things have become so polarized. It's one person against another, like the civil war back in the 1800s. They said, we're going to have a civil war in America again. I said, well, I choose to believe we're going to have a revival in America. We're going to have a revival where people, they'll turn their hearts back to God and 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 uh, turn their back on lawlessness and return to uh, submitting to authority, spiritual authority of God and the natural authorities and, of man. And, and we need it because I've noticed more and more um, in in the past few, you know, just decades that that the church has become very worldly and the world has become very very churchy and um the church is going to have to be cleaned up because a lot of the things that are going on in the church today are many of these things that we read in second timothy 3 1 through 5. yeah and um so you know they don't even and, and many people say well you know they don't even have respect for their own for their own pastor and they think oh pastor ministers are a dime a dozen you can find one on every street corner well we need to realize that we should have respect and 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 respect the authority that 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 minister or he he's he's actually our shepherd he he watches over us just like 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 a shepherd would in a field to watch over the watch watches over their sheep to keep us and to protect us and we can't even we don't even have enough respect for to for the pastor to make sure we show up on sunday morning and 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 just to sit there in in the pew and give our tithes and to honor god and honor the house of god and and those are some of the things we've talked about this week but you know i see it seeing more and more as, as the evil day approaches that uh things are getting worse not only in the church but in the world and it's a sad sad very very sad that so you know, um, you know, I believe we're living in the great falling away. I believe that uh, just as these scriptures say, people have become lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Um, and it's all due to rebellion. And it's all due to the fact um, the lawlessness, the, the, the lawlessness that we see in the land in the land today. And so as Christians, we we should be an example and and and. Um, and a model and a role model for those that are in the world to show people how you should act and how you should respond to authority. And because people are watching you, watching you all the time. And people, folks, you better recognize something. And I want to say this, and, and I want you to listen to what I'm saying. Um, you better recognize that uh, there's a demonic spirit that's mm -hmm. at work in government right, uh, and in the world today. Uh, do you know... Uh, we're going to come down to an hour in America. They won't care if you go to church as long as the blood of Jesus isn't mentioned in the church and the cross isn't mentioned in the church. The Bible says in the last days men will have a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Right. That's the right. 19th sign of lawlessness that we find in 2 Timothy chapter 3. And, and there's, a, there's a spirit in the world today uh, it, it's expressing itself through government, right? As well, that they they want to. They're moving the the world is moving toward a one world government, and uh, and the Bible says in that day the man of perdition will rise up. It's mm -hmm. talking about the Antichrist, and all of the world will submit to a one world leader yep. uh, who will uh, take the world into chaos and and uh, of course destruction, but. The devil doesn't care if you go to church. 